Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe. If you're new to my channel, today I am planning to reorganize and just basically clean my desk area. My desk setup is kind of getting old in my opinion. Like I need some sort of change to get me going. I just barely use my desk anymore. Maybe I just feel unmotivated and I'm not really liking how it looks right now. So the plan for today is to reorganize my desk, reorganize my stationery, cleaning it up because it is collecting dust and it's kind of gross but but I might as well just show you guys what it looks like right now. You know, just keeping it real. For now, I'm just going to be focusing on my desk area. Not really my walls yet. Like, I have two wall grids here and also a few postcards and stuff. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to be doing for those sections. So I think I'm just going to be focusing on the actual desk itself and also my stationary cart which I will show you guys now. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into the video. So not minding my laptop, this is what my desk area looks like. I will be cleaning out my whiteboard because I am done with the semester and I will just clean that out because I don't need it anymore. And yeah, and basically I'm just going to be reorganizing everything here on my desk, also cleaning up the surface because if you look closely, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but there is dust on the table so I need to clean that up. Yeah, I'm going to be reorganizing where I put like my washies and stuff and also just maybe getting rid of some things. So as you can see, this is just piling up here weirdly. Just random stuff i bought plants for decoration from ikea and i haven't been able to take them out yet because i don't know where to put them but today is a good day for that and i'm also thinking of getting rid of this section which has all of my books because honestly i don't like how this looks they always end up falling because i don't have a proper like book thingy the i don't even know what it's called the thing that keeps your books standing upright i don't have that so i kind of just want to put this away because i don't really have a use for some of these right now and i need to reorganize where i place my washies because there are some washies there in the back which is very hard to like grab like i'd have to take off that doll and then pick up all the washies from the back and it's just not convenient so i need to reorganize everything so everything is like in reach it's kind of hard like i've been looking at like inspiration on how to like decorate corner desks because my desk is a corner desk as you can see and yeah it's been really hard trying to find like inspiration on what to put in the corner because yeah like it's kind of like an odd shape you know so I'll see what I can do. This is what my wall looks like and I don't think I'm going to touch it yet. I'll probably do that in another video, maybe a vlog or another reorganization video. But yeah, I'm just going to focus on everything here and also probably this top section of my cart. I have other sections. This is just my makeup section, which is a mess as well and also random stuff down there, but that's also random and it's a mess and I think the video would be too long if I included everything and reorganized my entire room. So I'm just going to be focusing on the stationary items and yeah, like I said, my desk. With that being said, I think I'm going to section everything off like maybe put all the washies here and then all miscellaneous items in one section and just clear everything out i just have so much stationery that i don't even know how to start we got this i might also have to film this like within a span of like two days because i'm filming this later in the day and i might get interrupted and the sun might disappear so we'll see what happens but anyway i just hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video believe a single word I'm saying, do you? Oh, sure, of course I believe you. Great. Just repeat the words I'm about to say, all right? Moon, prism, power, makeup. Right. Moon, prism, power, makeup. <laughs> So I've decided that that is what the corner of my desk is going to look like and then surrounding it would be my stationary items. So I think I want to put 
washi on the side first so on each side there will be washi here and then wash here and then miscellaneous items on the outside i'm gonna try my best not to overcrowd it too much but can't make any promises because i got so much stationary items here we'll see what we can do but for now i think i'm gonna have to organize the washi tape itself first i want to move to the washi tape and pick out which one i use the most and then put away the things that I don't use the most. I feel like that would be more convenient. If you're wondering, the storage units that I use to display my washi tapes are from different places. So this one and these ones are actually Ferrero Rocher chocolate containers. So I just recycled them. And then this one is just a container that I got when I got some makeup brushes and i just reuse them for these washi tapes and then this one is from daiso i feel like if you're looking for cheap stationary organizers daiso is a good place to start and i'm not sure where i got these cube stationary organizers but i'm pretty sure you can get this from daiso as well or muji but daiso is more cheaper so there's that and these washi tape dispensers are I think they're from like those online stores like Aliexpress and stuff but I'm pretty sure you can find these in stationery stores just like look around and stuff that's where these are from as you can see some of my washi tapes are empty already I should take them out I'm just gonna organize all my washi tape now <laughs> So I've organized the washi tapes into the organizers. Thankfully, most of them fit. There are just these two that don't really fit anywhere, but I guess I can just leave it like this. And now I'm just gonna put it in its place. So I was thinking that this big one should be over here. And then these set of washi tapes can be over here just so they're close to me because i feel like i use these the most and also these so i want this organizer to be maybe stacked on top of something so first i'm gonna move this one over here and then let's see maybe i can stack these like that let me move it here oh perfect and then whatever i put here i'll probably stack it there maybe i don't know yet so before i continue organizing everything else on my desk i'm going to quickly showcase this product that i got from this brand on instagram called lots of style underscore shop so they sent me this little countertop bin thing that you can put on your desk and you can use this as like 
a little trash can i don't know i just thought it was really cute because i don't know about you but whenever i do like crafting stuff or like anything to do with stationery journaling or whatever i'm always cutting little bits and pieces of paper or sticker or washi tape and it's just so annoying having to clean it up when i'm journaling i i always end up with a big stash of like scraps around my desk so i feel like this item would be really useful because it's like small but also big enough to carry a lot of scraps that you create when you do lots of like crafting stuff and all of that so yeah they sent me this countertop table and they also included some bags little bags like little trash can bags that's really cute. So yeah, thank you to lots of style underscore shop for sending me this countertop bin. And I think I might actually decorate it eventually. Maybe not in this video, maybe like in a vlog or something. I will definitely post it on my Instagram. Yeah, I'm gonna incorporate this onto my desk because it's such a cute little item to have. I'm gonna open it up now and just see what it looks like. So lots of style shop is actually offering you guys 30% off if you use the code keynotes if you decide to buy this countertop bin 30% off is a pretty good deal in my opinion but yeah I don't really get I don't get anything in return they were just nice enough to give you guys a discount code so yeah if you're interested in getting your own little bin like this use the code keynotes I will leave the link in the description so yeah check it out I love how the bin is also pink I don't know about you but I love the color pink so yeah oh my gosh that's so cute so it's a little trash can so then you could just take this trash bag out and then throw it into the bin this has been sitting on my desk for too long and i couldn't wait to show you guys but yeah thank you to lots of staff for sending me this countertop bin check out their site i'll leave the links in the description this video is gonna end up really long but the next thing that i'm going to be organizing is my organizers with my memo sheets and also my stickers so this organizer has all of my memo sheets so the top are my smaller memo sheets and then this is my medium sized memo sheets and then this one is my larger memo sheets I need to clean this off because it's so dusty. The next one is over here. So this one is my stickers. So these are both from Daiso, these organizers. They come in a black color and a clear color. So here I have my miscellaneous sticker sheets. Just smaller sticker sheets with just random things whether it's like characters or like fruit random things and then this one this drawer has my k-pop related sticker sheets so sticker sheets that have fan art on it and the bottom just has all my sticker flakes so every sticker that is already cut up like this i have it in here i'm gonna try and organize this quickly because this video is going to end up really long or just this filming process is gonna take really long so let's go back to fast forwarding this process <laughs>
the lighting is changing because it is getting darker it gets so dark so quickly now in australia because it's winter but i've organized this side of my desk i'm not sure how i feel about the plants here yet because there's two here and then i decided to put one over there yeah i'm not sure if i'll leave it there yet like they're separated like i don't know if i should put them together if you know what i mean but yeah i'm really liking this setup right now i still need to figure out what i'm going to be doing with this box this has my stickers in it and also i need to organize this pile of stuff so this is more memo pads some more washi tapes but washi samples some extra miscellaneous things that i need to look over and also my photos i still have this mess i think i want to clear this out so there's like nothing here i need to do this there's still a lot that i need to do but i think i can get it done eventually we'll just see i'm gonna just wait till tomorrow morning to figure out what i'm gonna do but yeah i'll just see you guys once the lighting is better i'm really waiting a whole day for natural lighting but the sun is going away now so i gotta just work with what i got so yeah see you tomorrow so it is the next day and i'm gonna just try and finish everything off today i'm starting pretty early in the day so hopefully i have enough like natural lighting to get this video done and get all of my stationery organized so probably what i'm going to be working on is just figuring out where i'm going to put all of my memo pads over here i'm not really sure how i feel about this section yet i'm probably gonna leave this section because these are all of my photos and stuff that i use to journal if ever i need photos to journal with and yeah this seems like a suitable spot for all of these anyway so i'll just leave that there but yeah i'm gonna organize this and also this i think i want to put this and maybe some of this onto my cart like the top part of my cart this is where all of my pens and markers are and then these are my bigger memo pads and decorative paper highlighters and i have some space here which is a clutter right now like i have my wallet and i have all these glue sticks and just miscellaneous things as well i'm not sure i think i'm just gonna put all of my memo pads together in this space we'll see how it goes but yeah i think that's my main focus in terms of my books over there as well on my bed i think i might pu just put that into my drawers over there because those drawers have more books which i should probably get rid of but maybe that's for another time yeah i just want these all cleared out of my desk i don't really want them to be sitting on my desk anymore so i'll just put them in the drawer i think i'll tackle the memo pads first because that is literally the most challenging task and will probably take the most time so might as well get started now so yeah let's just get started with organizing that everything managed to fit that's amazing so i just keep my art line sticks markers over here because i currently don't have any organizers that i can use to store this so i just leave the packaging here with all the markers and yeah that's pretty much it for the top part of my cart i'm really happy that it managed to fit everything so now i'm left with these empty spaces over here i feel like i'm gonna keep my washi tape in one of these sections because it's more convenient and i do reach for my washi tape samples more often than other stationary items so i'm just gonna take everything out and clean it and then figure out what else i'm gonna put in this organizer what's your problem kuwabara you don't like croissants Stupid name, but they taste good. This is a tasty burger. Mm -hmm. 
these are all of my washi samples organized into sizes so the ones that are bigger i guess in packaging it's in the back and then smaller in the front just so it's more cleaner to look at i just placed these stamps and decorative tape here i didn't know what to put in this little space here like i literally don't have anything else to put here but for now i just put this container with my usb and usb-c adapter thingy because i use this pretty often anyway so i can just like grab it whenever i need to here i have all of the polaroids i've taken so far i guess it's just cute to put it here and this is just my little jewelry box open this pretty often so i put this here as well but yeah that is the top organizer and i will be putting it on top of here and i will probably just put this over here by the window this is my little highlighter organizer so these just have my pastel highlighters that i use for my planner and i'll just keep this here as well so now that majority of my space is organized to my liking i'm gonna just try and find a place for all these little extra bits of stationery that i have lying around and then i'll just talk to you guys afterwards <laughs> stuff i'm probably gonna organize the bottom part of my cart which i said i wasn't gonna organize but i might as well do it instead of like procrastinating on it so i'm gonna just fix everything up hopefully i have a place to put all of my other art related books and stuff so yeah that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna take everything out of here and fix it all up A tasty burger. that's what the bottom of the cart looks like now i just put all of my crafting stuff here so i have all of my other washi tapes that i don't use i have my art books here so i have brown paper here craft paper and i have my watercoloring book i have this other brown paper i have my tablet that i use to digitally draw on my laptop i also added my other art book over here and then i have some photos other pens that i don't really reach for and then i have all of my packaging stuff and envelopes here and also the stapler and the bin bags for the lotte style table bin and also here is my cutting thingy i don't know you cut paper with this and the mat is in the bottom but i don't really use that often i just keep it there in the bottom and yeah that is the bottom part of my cart so i'm finally done with organizing my desk space and here is what it looks like so as i showed you guys before this is what the bottom of my cart looks like and also here is the top of the cart what i changed is that i moved all of my smaller memo pads over here and just reorganized everything so everything is like together so all my memo pads are in this section i have my sticking items so my glue and my glue tape and also my sticky tape highlighters I have my decoration paper over here. I didn't really change anything in terms of the pens and markers because everything is pretty organized in my opinion. Like everything is in its right place. This is what the top of the cart looks like. And moving on to the main aspect of my room which is pretty much my desk so what i wanted to do was just to clear everything out and make everything look more clean 
but I realized that I have a lot of items in my room so I'm gonna have to fill up every space on my desk so originally I had just a bunch of books on this side and it kept falling here and there because I didn't have like a book stand for it and I really wanted to get rid of it because I wasn't really using any of the books that were here anyway so I took that out just rearranged everything and I originally had like a lot of books sitting here and it just looked too cluttered so I got rid of it and moved it to the bottom of my cart over there which is I guess my art supply section so I cleared it out and I just moved everything pretty much so what I changed the most was like just the layout of this section I kept my whiteboard here this is just where I keep all of my essentials my water my switch glasses if I'm gonna drive and asthma puffer I put my airpods here and I also put my paper clips and my pins here as well and I just felt like this was the most convenient place for this and then over here, I have my two organizers, which was originally on this side, but I moved it over here. So this is my memo sheet organizer. So I organize it into different sizes. So this is large, medium, small. I just put my Polaroid and my watch and also this plant over here. I originally had two plants here and then one plant there, but then it looked really awkward. Like, how come the two plants are together but that one is really separated? So I just decided to balance it all out with one plant here, one plant in the middle, and then one plant at the end over there. So yeah, that is this organizer. Then I have my sticker sheets. So this is just my smaller sticker sheets. This is just a random sticker sheet, K-pop sticker sheets. And then this one is sticker flakes. So these are just individual stickers that are already cut out. And then I put this set of washi tapes here. I didn't really change this one. This is just my washi tapes that have like a whitish background. And then I have my washi tapes here. More washi tapes. These are some washi tapes that I don't really reach for, but I reach for more than the washi tapes under my card. And then these are more pastel -y washi tapes that I do use here and there because I like to use a lot of pastels now that I've noticed. Then I have these organizers which have my thinner washi tapes. This was originally at the back corner of this desk setup and this was so hard to like reach for here and there like you know it's more convenient if it's like more accessible like this so I decided to put it here so I can just grab it if ever I need to get washi tape and here in the middle I put my albums here as well. I've always had my albums like this, like I've always had it somewhere on my desk, but this time instead of it standing upright, I put it down like this, kind of like a little platform for these items. So these are just cute toys, I guess. This is a pop vinyl H&N doll that I got from a Twitter group order. I think this is the first toy I got from a claw machine in Japan. Then I have my little light up box, which you can't really see, but I don't really mind. I put my plant here. More toys, Baekhyun. I have a calendar here. So yeah, as you can see, that is my little corner. I even put Spider-Man here. So I have more washi tapes here. These are my larger washi tapes. So they're like more thicker than usual. And then I have my phone memo printer over here. Pencil case that I have all my essential stuff in. And then these are more pastel washi tapes that I use often. And then I decided to keep my rainbow washi tapes here in case I like need any simple washi tape like this and then here we go with this organizer again here are my washi samples my USB-C adapter some bts photo cards because i don't know where else to put them polaroids my jewelry my photos that i use for my journal organizer for highlighters and also this countertop bin that i got from lots of style which i am finding so useful even while filming this video lastly i have my sticker sheets over here that are bigger that don't fit anywhere else and then i have my watercolor here and the last plant here so that is an overview of my desk area it does look a bit crowded but i feel like it looks more consistent and good compared to like my last setup i really like how this turned out i hope you guys enjoyed it as well oh by the way i also kept my journal here and my planner i reached for my planner a lot because you know i gotta plan my day and i also left my journal here because hopefully i can start journaling again yeah i just kept these two here because they're like more essential than everything else so yeah
so that is pretty much it for my desk setup slash reorganizing my stationary video i'm not sure what i'm gonna name this video yet but i just hope you guys enjoyed it overall i know this video was kind of like all over the place because then again i filmed like in the span of two days but hopefully my editing can save this video make sure to check out lots of styles shop on instagram i will leave all of their links down below in the description remember that if you decide to get one of their items you can use the code keynotes to get 30% off your own little bin over here it's so convenient now I don't have to have all these scraps laying around on my desk so yeah that is all for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching this video I hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you in my next one bye, -bye.